can be painful. They can also cost you thousands of dollars. Tonight, On Your Side investigator Anna Canzano shows us how to avoid dental treatments you don't really need. Hey, Nancy. How are you? I'm well. Diane Hallberg is nearing the end of a journey. We're going to get you good and on. Get you on my way, please. That's cost her many a sleepless night. I had months of problems. That was the most frustrating. For Diane, this infection went wild. Two years of dental hell. I felt that a little bit, huh? Okay. Added up to seventy-eight thousand dollars in debt, and threatened to strip away her smile. Eventually, I lost the teeth on my my left side, the upper jaw, and I lost um, the bone tilt right about my lip. It keeps it nice and dry. In my worst moments, I have felt very angry at the doctor and um, powerless. Um, so this is Diane's face right here. This is her, her guide at the end of this journey, Dr. Rob Duggar. I think that's one of the big things that we see is... Who says Diane is one of many patients he's picked up from other dentists. Dentists who pushed treatments patients didn't need. It's called upselling. People come in here saying, I had no idea what they were doing. They just gave me this, this, this little lecture and said, you've got to do this. The next thing, they'd get a bill in the mail. And they're, and they're very frustrated about that. The trend in dentistry... He and, and his partner, Dr. Insurance Dennis insurance Perales, becoming... say even worse is a situation in which a patient is sedated for one treatment, but wakes up to discover the dentist has done something else something major, like a tooth extraction. We don't have the authority to just rip the tooth out because now you didn't have that chance to make the right decision. So what are some things you can do to protect yourself? Well, first of all, remember, dentists are doctors, but they often play a unique dual role as CEOs of their own company with up to $30,000 a month in bills to cover. Dr. Duggar and Dr. Perella say if a dentist recommends a treatment that will cost you more than $4,000, it's worth getting a second opinion. Beware the dentist that wants to take on multiple areas of your mouth at the same time. Maybe a five-year plan would work better. And if you are getting sedated, make sure the dentist takes down the name of a spouse or relative so that person can make the call on your treatment while you are in the chair and knocked out. And if you've got a bad tooth, they say consider an implant instead of tooth heroics, extreme measures to save a tooth that may not be worth the pain or the price. I'm on your side investigator Anna Canzano reporting for K2 News. The Board of Dentistry has opened more than 2,000 formal investigations into Oregon dentists over the past 10 years. Upselling is included in the complaints about unacceptable patient care. That category alone makes up 66% of all complaints filed against dentists in the state. From the On Your Side of Investigators now, last night at 11, we met a woman who spent thousands of dollars on unnecessary dental work. And tonight, On Your Side, Investigator Anna Canzano shows us how to learn if your dentist has a history of problems. You might be surprised to know that according to state records, one in eight in Oregon does. That didn't hurt. Two years, $78,000, and immeasurable amounts of pain later. I've learned it's not something to play with. Diane Hallberg realizes how valuable it would have been to have a report card on a dentist she saw out of state before she wound up in his chair. She's since learned from her current dentist in Oregon, the work she had done prior to seeing him left her with severe bone infections and bone loss. I would like to know more. And I figured a lot of people would, so I got a hold of this through a public records request. The entire database of the Oregon Board of Dentistry and its disciplinary records. I sorted through its list of 3,731 dentists and discover Dr. Lynn Smith and Dr. John Summer, the two dentists practicing in the state with the most disciplinary actions taken against them. According to the database, there are 10 cases for Dr. Smith, 9 for Dr. Summer. These all occurred over a 30-year period. Dr. Smith has been reprimanded, penalized, and fined thousands of dollars for unacceptable patient care. Things like charging the state for the cleaning of a patient's teeth that he had not cleaned, or the extraction of two teeth from a six-year-old girl without the consent of her parent. He never took me up on my offers for an interview. Dr. Summer, on the other hand, did. What explanation do you have for being one of the dentists in the state 
that has the highest number of disciplinary actions right, taken well, against you. And I think that's misleading. That's important. To, because the average reasonable person gets on the website and they assume, they see all these complaints and they assume that they're patient complaints. Mm -hmm. And they're not. He's right. Only three are patient complaints. One of them reprimands Dr. Summer for providing treatment which exposed the patient to risk of harm when equivalent or better treatment with less risk was available. The other six slammed Dr. Summer for advertising improperly as a TMJ specialist which isn't recognized by the board as a specialty. There's been you know, many, many thousands of dollars of fines I paid for things that where I wasn't doing anything misleading or wrong or and um, Well, you were breaking the rules. With advertising? Yeah. Because you knew that you were I only supposed to advertise. I was breaking the letter but not the substance. He now simply calls his practice the TMJ Clinic, which he is allowed to do. Cool. Finding out if your dentist is in trouble with the state is one way to be a smart patient and protect yourself. And you can get it yourself by going to the Oregon Board of Dentistry website, clicking on Licensee Lookup, and typing in your dentist's name. It's that easy, much easier than swallowing a bunch of misery. I'm on your side investigator Anna Canzano reporting for K2 News. And we can tell you there are dentists who have far worse records. For example, dentists who were drunk or on drugs while they practice. They've had their licenses revoked. To find out if your dentist has a history of problems, go to Inside K2 section of KATU.com.